Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Rockwood. This is their part number 107 by 70C is what this is. Whoop. 107 by 70C. So what is this? Well, it's a pull plate is what it is. The uh, Hager system of putting parts together is really simple and straightforward. It's pull handle number, push plate number, and you put them together and you get a pull plate. Um, so it's great. The pull plus the push, they go together, complete unit. So the 107 portion of the part number is just simply the pull. Okay. This is a uh, this this pull is being shown in 630 finish, satin stainless steel. Okay, it's going to have its 70 C. It's going to be prepped for the two holes that are required for that plate to go through there and mount through the door naturally. The 70 means that this is a 50 thousandths of an inch thick piece of material, and that it is four inch wide and 16 inch tall. So the 70 is the series of plate, which means 50 thousandths thick, and it also means that it has a um, it has a beveled edge on it, okay? Um, that's standard. The C means that it's four by 16. If you change that letter, you're gonna change the size. B is common, um, a letter before C, a little bit smaller. Uh, they go larger than 4 by 16, 6 by 16, 8 by 16. And because it's rockwood and just a piece of stainless, you can have them technically may manufacture these backer plates any size that you really want. So that's really not a problem uh, for them to do. But the 107 is really probably more important to talk about. This is an 8-inch center-to-center pull handle. Certainly very typical and common. Therefore, its overall length going to be eight and three quarter because it's a three quarter inch diameter bar a little less common than average but it can certainly be three quarter you're going to see one inch as a common diameter as well especially in an eight inch a ten inch a twelve inch etc but for a for a restroom door this could be very appropriate uh, now this has a clearance dimension of an inch and three quarter and you're going to get out to two and a half inch this would not be considered May, uh, Rockwood's BF or barrier free version and that's only because the clearance is not two and a half inch meaning the pull handles just literally uh, ha has a has a greater projection and the concept there is that it makes it barrier free easier for a person with you know mobility uh, issues you know physical handicap to operate the door and while it doesn't say two and a half inch in code anywhere you will see when someone is saying for it to be ADA compliant, go with two and a half inch clearance, plus then the diameter of the bar itself. Okay, this is heavy; weighs about two, uh, about two and a half pounds, two point five and change, and that's got everything to do with the fact that this is made of solid stainless. This is bar stock stainless steel that has been bent and then brushed. Now, why is this choice, this type of handle, more importantly in stainless steel or in six three zero finish? Um, a good thing, you know, what makes it important. The most durable of all finishes is a combination of the base material and the finish done to it. So in this instance, 630 means made of solid stainless with a brushed finish. That is, that combination is the most durable of all combinations uh, and is the most durable of all natural finishes. So if you're looking for a handle that is absolutely the most durable when it comes to the finish, it would always be 630, solid stainless base material with a brush finish. Now you can do this in 629, which would be polished stainless, uh, but over use, of course, it would not retain its you know original look as much as if it was just brushed. The um, advantage of this being stainless, rather than satin chrome, like a 626 finish, that means it's made of brass. And then it has a satin chrome plating over it. You will wear out that plating eventually, and you will reveal the gold gold tone underneath this. Absolutely, there's no doubt. Unless the handle is never used, um, it will eventually reveal that brass tone underneath. Now this unit comes with a Type One mount, and Type One from Rockwood means that it is a through bolt with a finish washer. 
That also means that it's quarter 20. That's a quarter 20 bolt. You can do different mounting types from Rockwood. Uh, in a type one, they make a quarter 20. In a type one HD, that would be 5 16 18. And then they could do a type one X HD, which would be 3 8 16. You can't do that X HD on all poles because simply the diameter of the pole is too small. You could probably do the, they'll probably do the HD version on this, or maybe they won't. Um, you might need the one inch diameter for that. Um, it could be. They may only do the, um, I, I believe they'll only do the type one. If you want an HD or an X HD, go with the larger diameter pole handle. Why is that important? Well, the greatest diameter bolt that you can order on your hardware is what I suggest you do. And the reason I say that is because we sell replacement bolts for pull handles every week. We're, we're, we're shipping that material out. Um, and it, it's because they get broken. You know, the bolts that are used to put this stuff together, this isn't like grade 5 or grade 9 bolts. These are just common steel type bolts. These might be stainless. Yeah, these are going to be stainless. But doesn't render it sufficient to, you know, be able to last, you know, hundreds or thousands of uses a day in a, an application that might be considered um, extremely high and even abusive, like the front door of a bar. Uh, you know, we sell replacement bolts to those proprietors all the time. It's because those doors just get really used um, and sometimes used pretty heavily. So go with the greatest size that you can. This is going to be a very low volume use. This is a, um, a rel well, this is a light duty uh, commercial application that will have a low volume uh, amount of uh, operation that's happening on it. So a type one would be just fine and it's not gonna be vandalized because it's back of house only. There will be no, um, no access to the public for this pull handle. Now let's switch to the screen view where we can take a look at the supporting documentation for this poll. So this is the item that we're working on here. The 107 by 70 C, as we can see here, okay? Tells us our size, our dimensional properties, the type, you know, on all of the items, uh, on both of the items that we've already discussed. Now it's going to include, in addition to those quarter 20 through bolt finish washers, it will include, of course, the small little screws that will be used for the now as we talk about these through bolts and finish washers two things unless it's specified they're going to ship for an inch and three quarter thick door okay that's number one number two there are other mounting options and you do have to select them up here and let's take a look at the mounting options for these now it doesn't this doesn't necessarily mean that they're all going to be available because they're not i know the one x HD is not going to be available, but this document serves to talk about the different option types, through bolting or surface concealing in wood do uh, metal doors or wood doors. I don't recommend either of those ever. Uh, they do, they will, they will ultimately come loose in my experience. Um, if you had a sub sub uh, sufficiently, substantially reinforced door I would think that surface concealed ought to be just fine, but aluminum is rather soft. Uh, wood is, with a knife thread insert, I think it's just, I think it's a recipe for failure. Um, but they do offer it. Back to back, if you're doing pairs of them, and they're the same sort of concept, the only difference between a Type 5 and a 13 is the thickness of the glass, because the length of the bolt will change, and then you'll get a couple of other, three other additional pieces washers and a bushing. Um, and that will talk about the different mounting types uh, for this hardware. Now we can uh, slide over to the product brochure and that will give us an overview. And our product brochure link is here where we'll be able to take a look at the 107 in its family of other thinner than standard pull handles. The Center to center dimension is in this column, obviously. So we're dealing with a 107, 8 inch, 3 quarter diameter. Now you can do the same 8 inch in a 1 inch diameter, and that would be the Rockwood number 110. Same pole, it's just 1 inch diameter. What's nice about this document is it will tell you that you can order this pole and the push plate for that matter in aluminum, 
in brass or bronze base material and stainless steel. They can do on aluminum all of the anodized finishes, on brass or bronze all of your architectural finishes, your brasses, your bronze, your chromes, your nickels, polished satin, antique, oil rub bronze. They can powder coat over stainless steel, many different finishes. They'll powder coat over the least expensive base material. They won't powder coat aluminum, um, but they would, if you wanted black, it's going to be over stainless steel is what I'm driving at. And that would be just considered the manufacturer's standard procedure when powder coating. Black, red, white. You know, powder coating is paint, so if they have access to the paint, they certainly have access to the technology, to the um, you know, procedure to do so. Also on stainless, you can do, um, first of all, you can do micro shield. That is a coating that will be on the stainless that will make it substantially more resistant to fostering the growth of germs, bacteria, you know, various other uh, contagion that can be transmitted via your hands. When you're touching it, touching the pull handle, the next person touches the pull handle, the next person touches the pull handle, you then touch everything else in the space. You get the point. Um, they can also do that on a type 316 stainless as well. If it's a coastal environment, you might want to consider type 316 because it is orders of magnitude more capable of resisting um, the environment, a coastal environment, high salt environment, you know, the corrosion that will happen on the hardware, greatly uh, improved resistance to corrosion when it's 316. And then, of course, they can do polished uh, on stainless as well. That's US 32. That would be a mirror-like type finish. And then again, the white, the red, the black powder coat. Back-to-back um, -back mounting, concealed mounting. Let, put in the comment field if the door thickness is not inch and three quarter. That's generally not enough charge. Sometimes it is. We'll let you know if it is. Then, two and a half inch barrier free uh, clearance, you'll make it a BF 107 by 70C, is what that would end up being. Now, the 70C itself, that plate, we can kind of dive into, and it's here. Um, Again, 50 thousandths of an inch thick is 70. Uh, you can do these security uh, uh, Torx style screws on it. You can do self-drilling screws. We talked about how the size changes as the letter changes. This is a 70C. You can see how we go to bigger size and smaller size pull handles. But at the end of the day, the plate is 50 thousandths thick and it's beveled on the edges. Other options are available there as well. Okay, now as we wrap up this video, I'd like to call your attention to the manufacturer's page, which can be seen right here. When you click on that link, it's going to pull up the manufacturer's page within our site, where you'll be able to review not only all of the Rockwood products that we sell, but a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog for their core product line, their trim and auxiliary material. And then also, of course, their architectural uh, door poles they have here. Um, there they are. They, they, they continue to move these links on me. Um, the architectural door poles. It's 100 pages of every type of variation of pole handle that you can think of. Since we're talking about poles, leather wrapped, rubber wrapped, wood all the base materials, the architectural base materials, stainless, brass, bronze. If you're looking for custom door poles, this would be an exceptional source for you to review. All right, let's wrap up this video on camera. Okay, in conclusion, very nice quality pole handle from Rockwood. I would not hesitate to suggest that you consider their products for not only that Truman Auxiliary, but for those architectural door poles as well. The name Rockwood is thoroughly synonymous with very high quality trim and auxiliary hardware. It's also synonymous with exceptional customer service and also synonymous with um, incredibly agreeable can-do attitude. They are a company who has moxie. Um, I believe that it must be their MO that if they have the equipment and the knowledge to do it, they'll do it. There has been relatively recently some marketing paperwork put out by Asa Abloy as it pertains to McKinney and Rockwood and Sargent, etc., that basically says, if you can draw it, send it to us for a quote.
custom levers, custom finishes. These folks all but encourage you to ask for specials. They love doing it. And I have drawn on their ability to create special items for me several times in the past, and they continue to just thrill me with how exceptional they are with prompt, reliable, predictable shipping lead times, accuracy, the whole nine yards. They'll, they, if they've got the machinery to make it, they're going to do it for you. Good quality people there. Any questions on the 107 by 70 c pull handle or any other Rockwood product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.